Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to connect to a Cisco device using a console cable. The things you need to do this are the following. A Cisco device, a um, rollover cable in order to connect to the console port. Uh, this one was manufactured by Cisco as you can see but uh, you can uh, make your own or get one from other manufacturer, your choice. Uh, they also work on uh, Huawei and Juniper devices, as far as I tested. Uh, you will need also, if your computer does not have a, um, a dedicated serial port, you will need uh, one of these uh, serial to USB adapters, and also you, on, you will need a uh, power cable. Now, first thing you gotta do is to identify your console port. It is this one in baby blue. It says console. Even though it is a RJ45 um, connector, it is not a network port. The network ports are these two fast Ethernet ports. But this one, this one is a uh, serial console port. It is not a um, network port, even though it uses a RJ45 connector. Uh, you will need to connect uh, your rollover cable to this console port and then using the uh, serial to USB adapter you will need to connect it to your computer. Also before powering on your device firstly check uh, the voltage it takes. Uh, here on mine it says uh, 100 to 240 volts AC. Here within the EU we use 230 volts AC so uh, it will be fine. Now open party and begin to set it up. Go to the serial and now in order to find the serial line to connect to you should go to the device manager and find your um, USB to serial converter. In my case it's COM7. The rest of the settings will be as follows. Now go to session and select Serial and tap Open. Now it is time to turn up your device. Now you will see how the device boots up. You will have to wait for it to boot up. Now through the magic of video editing we jumped right after the device has booted up. So here you may want to select No as this is some kind of a um, configuration wizard as for now I never used it so uh, select no here and wait a little bit now press enter and uh, it will get you right to the prompt now type enable And uh, here you are, but if you want to see what the device has uh, stored on it, uh, you may uh, want to type this command in, dear flash, and you can use uh, tab autocomplete. And you might delete uh, files which are not um, uh, being used to, in order to free up some space but you may never want to delete this file. This one is the image from which the device boots. Uh, classic Cisco devices will uh, decompress this image upon uh, starting up. They will decompress it uh, into the RAM. If you delete this, well, your device will, not, will no longer boot into iOS. So uh, you should be careful. After you've connected to your device, you will be right into the user exec mode. In order to get to privileged uh, exec mode, you will have to type in enable command. If you want to configure uh, things on your device, you will have to enter the configuration mode. In order to enter this mode, you will have to use the following con command. Configure terminal. Now you can uh, configure uh, 
things on uh, your device. But uh, if you want your configuration to be persistent after a reboot, you will uh, want to use the copy run start command in the privileged exec mode or WR from right like this. or the write command like this. I hope you find this video helpful and if you have any questions you can uh, post them into the comments below. Have a nice day!